Ciao a tutti, come va? We did it. We finally made it. Italy's finally opened up to us, and we can go wherever we want in this country. We go to Roma, Venezia, Napoli, uh, wherever they filmed Under the Tuscan Sun with Diane Lane. Allora, in this episode, we go to the fashion capital of the world and Lake Cluny. It's not actually called that. So Italy has finally opened up. We were able to take our first trip off of the island and to the mainland. We have decided to go to Milan. Um, a lot. Of, we wanted to go to Rome first, but a lot of the tickets to Rome either were at bad times, really expensive, and like everybody I talked to was going to Rome. So we thought to do something a little different and head to Milan and Lake Como. I kept hearing about how European airlines were very cheap, which they are. They're probably maybe like. 12 to 30 dollars each way per person so i wasn't really sure what to expect but we flew on easyjet and i mean it was very no frills you just pretty much got a seat in a backpack but i mean this is going to be a great way to explore most of europe if it continues to be such a good experience milan is the fashion capital of the world Milano. after landing in milan and getting the rental car the first thing i thought when i was driving to the highway was it's nice to have paved roads. Just looking around, it looked like I was in like I-94 in Chicago again. Quando siamo arrivati a Milano, avevamo bisogno di qualcosa da mangiare. The first meal we had in Milan was Five Guys. It was the best meal I had in Italy. I don't know how much Five Guys costs, but I'm sure it's pretty cheap. We spent about 70 euro for our family at Five Guys. Uh, if you want to convert it right now in 2021, that's 83 US dollars, which isn't too far off of what you'd spend back home. It's always expensive at Five Guys, which is why In-N-Out is always better. So for this trip, we just had one day in Milan, and the one thing I really wanted to see was the Duomo. It's just so iconic there in the main piazza of Milano, and it did not disappoint. Piazza by the Duomo is huge. Uh, it was surprising to see almost no one there. I can't imagine how crazy it would be if there was no COVID. Luckily we were there when there was not really much people so we could do stuff like take pictures and just walk around. By the Duomo, there are a lot of pigeons. I remember the pigeons coming up to me when I was feeding them. A guy gave me fried noodles and I fed pigeons. We bought tickets to tour both the inside, the catacombs, and the rooftops, and the rooftops really blew us away. I thought it was funny because I was wearing a conservative yet sleeveless dress and uh, they made me purchase this like white paper sack to go over my dress because you can't bare your shoulders in the Duomo. In that white dress, she was really too sexy for Milan, too sexy for Milan. New York and Japan. Once we left Milan, we went to Lake Como for a couple of days. On the second day of our trip, we headed up about an hour north to Lake Como, and let me tell you, most beautiful thing I've ever seen. I didn't realize how beautiful Lake Como was until I drove in. You know, you hit the tunnel and then you see the lake, and it's just really breathtaking. Lake in Italian is a Lake Como is a beautiful place with expensive houses. Boat in Italian is Barca. Our friends we were with had the idea to rent a boat and I thought that was awesome. Um, I grew up boating, we had a boat always on the lake and it just, um, as soon as I was out there on the water with the kids, it was bringing back all the good memories that I had of myself and my own family when we were the same age. 
It really was so beautiful. We lucked into perfect weather and just the mountains and the lake and the fact that there's like mountains all around you 360. It was just so gorgeous. Bellissima. Where I booked. George Clooney has a house there. Wait, who's George Clooney? When I was on the boat, I was trying to dance and surf with my socks on. My mom offered me money if I jumped into the lake. The temperature of the lake was about lower than 60 degrees Fahrenheit. I do not regret jumping in the water. Now that we can pretty much freely leave the island for the summer, we have a lot of things we still want to go see in the mainland. Next, we'll show you what we did for Mark's 40th birthday, which was pretty special. Ciao, ciao.